So it's been a rough couple of weeks, uh, not just the election, of course that one does sting, but you know, I got a lot of stuff going on, and this week I just wanted to do things a little bit differently. Uh, I wanted to do this week's video a little bit differently. I really just wanted to get out of the house and have some fun, so today, today we're just having a fun range day, and we're going to do it a little more blog style, so let's go. All right, quick stop for coffee. Don't judge me. It's like 35 degrees out this morning. And on top of that, we're in Washington and in the Pacific Northwest. If you're not starting your day with coffee, you're not starting your day. So I've been checking the numbers on my channel lately. And it looks like my content is absolutely getting buried by um, people searching for election bullshit. Now, if you wanna help out the channel, one of the best things that you can do is hit that like button. If you are not subscribed, you can go ahead and subscribe, share a video. What YouTube does is they track everything. Every little thing uh, that somebody does on a video, they track it. And that's where they decide what videos to go ahead and suggest to other people. So the biggest thing that you can do to support the channel is interact with the channel. Hit that like button, subscribe, share videos with your friends. Uh, if you go on to watch another video on the channel, YouTube loves that shit. Down below, I'm gonna go ahead and have some various links to some Amazon products. Anytime that you click one of those links before you go do your Amazon shopping, regardless of whether you buy the stuff in the links or not, Amazon considers that as a referral of sorts and uh, anything that you purchase for the next 24 hours after clicking that link, Amazon gives me a little bit of a kickback. Those commissions that Amazon give me, um, that's what I use to go ahead and buy new equipment, buy new gear, stock up on ammo uh, to be able to do these videos. So. If you have a minute or two and you have a crap ton of stuff that you're going to order on Amazon, just click one of those links below, then go into Amazon, throw a bunch of stuff in your cart, check out, and I appreciate the support. If you've got a spot locally that you're shooting outdoors, Make sure that you're picking up your garbage. Don't leave anything behind. That's how these outdoor spots get shut down. And really, it just makes all of us shooting enthusiasts look like a bunch of assholes when we uh, go out onto uh, public land or whatever and we're shooting and we're leaving a bunch of trash behind. And it's just, it's bad for everybody. Just early enough we have time to set up targets maybe take a quick flight down around the gravel pit with the drone and finish my coffee before it's time to shoot Alright, it's close enough to 9 o'clock. I won't tell anyone if you don't tell anyone. 
Uh, today, I only brought cheap RBS ammo. Um, the SDI is a little finicky sometimes, a little picky about what it likes to feed. So I guess we'll see what happens today. Not too bad. So this is probably one of my favorite guns to shoot, the PTR 9CT. I've got the Blitzkrieg front sight on here, and honestly, this is probably the best upgrade you could possibly do for this gun. It's a little bit like cheating. It's hard to miss because the sight itself is bright orange, got a nice chevron shape to it um, you just pull it up and you can hit hits all day long A lot of times I get asked about my ear protection. Um, the question is always, why aren't you wearing electronic ear pro? Um, honestly, as somebody that wears glasses, um, over the ear, ear protection tends to squeeze a little too much. It's really uncomfortable. Now, sometimes I do wear electronic ear protection, but you know, days like today where I'm out here at the gravel pit by myself, there isn't another soul around as far as the eye can see. It really doesn't matter. I wear the in-ear. Um, I'll leave a link below for those if you want to check them out. These ones that I'm wearing right now, really comfortable. They cut down the sound quite a bit. And, you know, honestly, I think they're one of the best ones that are out there on the market for inside the ear that isn't uh, wildly expensive. You know, when daily life gets really stressful, the best thing that I can do for myself is take a morning, come out here and blow off a little bit of steam. All right, like I said earlier, it's pretty damn cold out here. My hands are starting to seize up because I've been out here so long. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put one more mag down range and then that's it, I'm done for the day. That's it, we're done.